Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today it is lecture number 117. We are going to have a video on prayer, Salat, Namaz, and its spiritual, moral, and social impact. Before this, we have an introductory session uh, generally regarding the Islamic worships, their uh, the instructions in Quran and Ahadith regarding uh, Islamic worships. Now we are going more specific and uh, we are starting with prayer. It is, uh, you may say, it is the second lecture. But importance wise, it is the first lecture in the under the heading of Islamic uh, worships. So, how the question has been asked about prayers, it is define the meaning of prayer and its different categories. Also, describe the spiritual, moral, and social impact of prayers. Now, this question has been asked in CSS 2016, and there are chances that it, it may be asked in the uh, in the uh, in the years to come in 2024 or 25. So this is important. And uh, one aspect which we will we, which we will be touching is uh, the which has not been mentioned in this question. And that is, uh, uh, what are instructions regarding prayer in Quran and uh, Ahadith? Uh, so we will cover that as well. Now coming to Salah, it is an Arabic word, Salah. It's a kind of physical worship. And uh, it requires, it is the, uh, uh, it is the only uh, uh, Prayer, or it is the only worship, Islamic worship, which which involves vigilant engagement of believer with the Almighty, and because it's five times a day, there is no any other, uh, there is no any, uh, other uh, worship which uh, requires such kind of uh, constant engagement of believer. So it's five times a day, uh, spread over different timings. Its uh, meaning is going, paying homage, prayer, submission to pray, to connect with Almighty. Different uh, experts in Quran and in Fika have uh, explained uh, the meaning differently and they have uh, divergent views over this. Now, it is also called as Nimaz in Persian. Coming to categories of prayer, there are, there are four kinds of uh, prayers. One is Fars, then is Wajib, then Sunnah, then Nafal or Nawafil. Now coming to Fard prayers, there are, there are five times prayers in a day. First is the Fajr prayer, which is offered before sunrise. And then Zohar prayer, uh, which is offered around 1 to around 3.30 p.m., uh, maybe 4 p.m. And uh, the equivalent prayer to this Zohar prayer on the Friday is Juma, or uh, congregational prayer. For Juma specified sermon khutbah is must, which is, uh, which, is, which is recited by Imam before offering of this prayer. Then is Asr prayer, it is the middle prayer, and then is Maghrib, which is uh, offered just after the sunset, and then Isha prayer, which is offered almost one and uh, one and half an hour later after then after the prayers of Maghrib. So there is also term called Fard Kafaya. Salat Kafaya means any prayer which is obligatory upon any or some members of of community if some of them. Uh, do it, then it is uh, paid or it is complied by all. It is considered as being done by all. Otherwise, if no one in community uh, 
offers this kind of prayer then it will be uh, then all the community members will be held accountable like funeral prayers are kind of for the kafaya then coming to wajib prayers uh, there are two kinds of uh, wajib prayers one is a uh, witr which is offered uh, after just after isha, isha prayers according to hanafi school of thought it is wajib prayers and uh, then uh, salat Al Eid, which uh, on two occasions they are offered, the first is Eid al Fitr just after uh, the um, month of Ramzan, and second is Eid al Adha, which is on 10th of Zil Hajj. And uh, both uh, the Salat Al Eid had uh, have uh, six takbirat, and there is also recitation of sermon by imam after eight prayers. Then there are two kinds of sunnah prayers, sunnah muakada, uh, which is regular, which was, which were regularly offered by holy prophet. And sunnah ghair muakada means the prayers which are offered by, by the holy prophet, peace be upon him. Uh, not regularly, but off and on, uh, on uh, non-regular occasions, they, these prayers are offered. Nafal prayers, they are, these are voluntary and abandonment is not sinful at all. There are various uh, kinds of nafil prayers. Ishraq, it is around 20 or 40 minutes after the sunrise. Chosht prayer, which is after about one third of the day has passed. The Hajjul prayer, which is, which is during the night. During the last part of night, just before the Azan for uh, Fajr prayers, and for this taking sleep is must, meaning thereby that if one is constantly uh, not sleeping and he can't pray, uh, offer Tajit prayers, for this kind of prayer, uh, some sleep, maybe of uh, even uh, as minor as 20 minutes is. Uh, also, must. Then Salat Tal Hajat, which is for the fulfillment of need. Then Salat Khuso, that is offered during lunar slips. And then Salat Al Kasof, which is offered during solar slips. Then uh, Istiska, Nimazi Istiska, Salat Istiska, which is offered for rain. Now, what are the instructions regarding Salat in uh, Holy Quran? Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 3, who believe in the unseen established prayer and donate from what we have provided for them. Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number 2, verse number 43, establish prayer, pray the God and bow down with those who bow down. Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number 2, verse number 45, and seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, it is a burden except for the humble. Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number 2, verse number 83, and remember when we took a covenant from the children of Israel, setting worship, none but Allah, be kind to parents, relatives, orphans, and the needy. Speak kindly to people, establish prayer, and pray the God, but you Israelites, you Israelites, turned away except for a few of you and were indifferent. Now, this ayah may be quoted for uh, uh, Tawheed as well, because it is about worshipping none but Allah. It is about the rights of parents, rights of relatives, orphan and needy. You can quote this uh, 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 ayah to justify these aspects as well. Uh, it is about good speech, kind speech to others, it, it, it may be quoted for the Zakat as well, in addition to its quotation for uh, prayers. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 110, establish prayer and pray Zakat, whatever good you send forth for yourself, you will certainly find its reward with Allah, surely Allah is all seeing what you do. Then Surah Nisa, uh, Surah number 4, uh, verse number 103, surely the Salat, at fixed hours of the day and night has been joined upon the believers. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 238, observe the five obligatory prayers, especially the middle prayer and stand in 
true devotion to Allah. Hadith. Now, what are the instructions in hadith, in hadith regarding the offering of prayer? Abdullah asked the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, which read is the dearest to Allah? The Holy Prophet replied to offer the prayer at their early stated fixed times. Sayyid al-Bukhari, hadith number 5 to 7. Hadith Sayyid Bukhari number 160, if a man performs ablution perfectly and then offers the compulsory prayer, Allah will forgive his sins committed between that prayer and the next prayer till he offers it. Sunan Abdi da, uh, Daud, book 1, page 71, Amar bin Shoeb narrates from his father, who in turn narrates from his grandfather that the Holy Prophet said, peace be upon him, said, order your children to offer prayers when they reach the age of 7 years and make them offer prayers made be by punishing them at the age of 10 and separate their beds. So there is another hadith which says that the messenger of Holy Prophet, the messenger of Allah, Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said, when any one of you stands to pray, he is communicating with his Lord. So let him pay attention to how he speaks to him. The key to paradise is prayer. The key to prayer is wuzu or ablution. It is hadith from Masnad Ahmad. Prayer is pillar of deen. Other hadith, Harit Jabbir, radiyallahu ta'ala anha, anho, Narrated the, that, that the uh, Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The distinguishing feature between the Muslim and the non Muslim is prayer. Now, coming to spiritual, moral, and social impact. Now, first of all, if you offer prayers regularly, then it is kind of remembering the act of gratitude. Namaz is the way to offer gratitude to Almighty. It is about connecting with Almighty, it is about connecting with the purposes of life. With the, with the purpose of life, which is the worship of Allah Almighty, as said by Holy in the Holy Quran, and the mass also brings contentment and peace of mind. Then there are some moral aspects. The mass promotes ethics. It is a kind of uh, it is a tool to uh, make you physically clean because uh, before every prayer you have to perform ablution, which is uh, washing your hands, your uh, nose, your uh, mouth, and your face, and your uh, arms and foot and feet. It is about uh, abstention from bad deeds. It promotes self respect and self esteem. Because once you bow down before Allah Almighty, you don't have to uh, bow before uh, others, as in the uh, famous verse by Hazrat Lama uh, Iqbal. And uh, one of the moral aspects of uh, Salat is promotion of moral values. It's about abstention from bad habits and bad uh, uh, deeds. It's about being, uh, uh, being humble to others, being kind to others. So Nimaz promotes more any moral values. Then coming to social aspect of prayer, because uh, as a believer uh, offers prayer, he goes to he he, he goes to a mosque, uh, and uh, in uh, a congregation he offers prayer. Then it is a kind of social networking. It is a forum for social networking as well. Namaz promotes uh, punctuality because you have to be there five times a day, and uh, it also promotes sense of responsibility because you have to be responsible towards Allah Almighty. And once you go there, you uh, see your uh, uh, fellow Muslims and you come to know about their problems and issues. And in this way, if you are in a position to help them, you can help them because you have the knowledge about uh, how other people, how other, other persons are, are, are living. You come to know about how, about the lives of other persons uh, as you uh, as you um, go to mosque to offer prayers, it also promotes discipline, which is uh, which is also uh, a good social quality. A uh, disciplined and punctual persons are uh, very much respected in society. So ultimately, salat uh, is a means to increase your uh, increase your worth in society. And secondly, uh, and and uh, and in, in addition to these qualities, it makes you humble. 
because uh, once you stand with all other there is no uh, discrimination among any uh, of the muslims so a lesson of equality is also promoted in the in the congregational prayer then there is an aspect of community welfare uh, if you come to know that some person is is needing some help you may help that person it is also a, a, a way to promote mutual love brotherhood knowledge of community you uh, may find the lesson of equality as i have already discussed in this uh, uh, in the previous slide then if all the muslims are going to mosque to offer prayer then it promotes unity of thought among them and it is also a training for team work as well so these are spiritual moral and social impact you may build upon these uh, aspects so ye tha hamara aaj ka lecture about uh, uh, prayers ye lecture jo hai maine different uh, sources se uh, isko consult kiya research ki iske upar aur tab ye lecture aapki khidmat mein pesh kiya hai ab isme ek cheez aapne zehn mein rakhni hai ki ye इसमें मीनिंग भी आ गए इसमें इसकी डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज भी हमने डिस्कस कर दी इसमें कुरान और हदीस की रोशनी में हमने अहकाम भी बताने हैं जब भी इबादत की बात होगी तो आपने कुरान पाक की वर्सेस और अदीस कोट करनी है उसके अलावा रिकमेंडेड बुक्स से भी आप कोट कर सकते हैं तो इट्स ए कम्प्लीट काइंड ऑफ पैकेज और ये क्वेश्चन आपका तैयार हो गया है अगले लेक्चर में हम बात करेंगे इनशाला जक़ात के बारे में टिल देन अल्लाह हाफिज़ टेक केयर